Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to this festive roundup of everything coming out of Linode and Akamai this month that I think you'll find of value as an MSP, a dev shop, marketing agency, or managed hosting provider. Oh, we've got a bumper edition for you. Let's get straight into it. So you've just spoken to a customer and they want to host an application or a website in the cloud. Where do you turn to at the moment? What are your options? The giants! Companies like AWS, they've got scale, but it comes at a cost that you're likely to be locked into for a long time if you use their proprietary services. And having somebody on the end of the phone to help is something you're only gonna see if you're spending the big bucks. The alternatives then. Companies like DigitalOcean, OVH, Vulture, less expensive, simpler to use, but lacking the same scalability and reach that perhaps those bigger players can offer. So what's the answer? In the roadmap we've just put live on our site, you'll see how as Akamai and Linode together will be offering the best of both worlds for our partners. Scale, simplicity and 24-7 personal support, but at a fraction of the price. We're aggressively expanding our fully capable core Linode compute sites, but we're also now able to leverage Akamai as the largest network in the world. What this means is we're adding another layer of over 4,000 kind of lighter weight distributed sites, plus many more what we call edge locations. It's really an impressive project. What's it called? The Continuum of Compute. Take a look at Linode.com for an interactive network map and the ability to sign up for updates when new sites come online. Also linked below is a brilliant brand new interview with the head of cloud experience at Akamai, Blair Lyon, who will explain the project in far more detail. Do it, they're thinking about the cloud as this continuum, as this ability to not only build and host, and then of course deploy. Virtual desktops, Citrix and VMware projects, security and compliance. These are the things that Texas-based MSP White Hat Virtual are absolute experts in. Now, virtual desktop infrastructure is a really common use case for Linux cloud computing. So when I ran into CEO Val King at the recent IT Nation event in Orlando, couldn't resist pinning him down for a chat about his business, their focus, and the impacts of the rise in working from anywhere. Check out this conversation in this in-person edition of the MSP Spotlight. I've been joined by Val King of White Hat Virtual Technologies, CEO. Val, thanks so much for joining me. Now, Val wasn't the only person I caught up with on my Florida trip. Take a look around our partner channel for no less than three brand new videos. The first one is a handful of professional service automation tool tips for MSPs around how to improve profitability with PSA expert Chris Tim from Sondella Consulting. So the first one I would say is absolutely make sure you get all the costs into the PSA. So things like the cost of the services that you're selling, so Microsoft 365. The next one is a great chat with Juan Moreno of Ransomware Help with advice that pretty much anyone can benefit from around the how to respond basically to a, to a ransomware attack in the aftermath. There's always a possibility of uh, tracing back the encryption process and reversing it. Okay. Last but definitely not least is a chat around CompTIA's new security standard trust mark and the ISAL service with Executive Director of the ISAL Security Unit at CompTIA, Wayne Sell. It's not just a flip of the switch. You're never going to find a technology that's going to be able to solve for this, right? If you're an MSP, you've probably been known to dabble on a recreational basis. Maybe you pay a specialist when you need the job done properly. If you're an MSSP, you'll be at it all the time. Let's talk penetration testing. Kali Linux is a Linux distribution used for penetration testing, ethical hacking, and network security assessments. Now, we're one of the only cloud companies, to my knowledge, to have it just available in the dropdown when you create a new virtual private server. And in our latest video, we'll show you exactly how to deploy it, configure it, and use it in anger. Check it out. And then from there, all we need to do is scroll down and create our Linode. For this next piece, I'm shirking my responsibilities altogether. I'm going to hand you over to Product Marketing Manager, Justin Cobbett. Over to you, Justin. When your customers are building an application, it's really important to stress that it is worth the time and resources to separate that database layer from the presentation and application layer for really three important reasons. Uh, one is security. You're essentially isolating your database from the public internet. The other is you can optimize your performance. Working on one of those layers is less likely to affect the other. And that helps you grow that in the future. And of course, availability, because if there is an outage or there's any maintenance on one of those other layers, 
you're less likely to have a problem with the other two and it's easier to solve. So click the link to learn more. Have a very merry holiday season and a wonderful start to 2023. Events? There are none, but don't worry. I've just uploaded the recording of our recent intro to Linode for Partners webinar to YouTube, which covers everything we do and why it's worth becoming a partner with us. So please feel free to go along and check that out if you could do with a refresher. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, well, that's it from me. Uh, thank you for checking out our videos over the past year. And however you spend the holiday period, I hope you do manage to switch off, turn off those devices, rejuvenate and come back strong for 2023. Have a wonderful time and I'll see you on the other side. Bye for now.